Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. I'm your host, FD465.tv, with yet another crypto project review. And this time, we are looking at Jacko Protocol, J-A-C-K-A-L Protocol. So as part of our review, as usual, we are going to be performing our standard DIO or risk evaluation, where we apply our toolkit consisting of 13 elements in decentralization, security, scaling, interoperability, the project team, project use cases, social media presence via Twitter and via Discord as well as the project is on tokenomics. So let's start with what Jacko protocol is. But before we jump in, please note that this video is not intended for UK audiences. If you are from the UK, please note that the authorities are protecting you from investing into cryptocurrencies. Why? Because they do deem cryptocurrencies to be extremely risky. Therefore, you may end up losing all your funds. And if you are from the rest of the world, welcome to our channel. And if you are new, please, please consider subscribing to our channel. If you are a returning viewer, guys, thank you very much. You are the fabric that that is holding this channel together and i think together we will keep marching on so without further ado let's jump back into jackal protocol what is it built on the cosmos network jackal protocol is a decentralized data storage platform that uses the proof of stake consensus mechanism for optimal stable performance it is a cosmos application specific blockchain designed to offer secure efficient and robust data storage solutions so think of the likes of your are with akashi network iagon on cardano and so forth the jackal protocol describes itself as a fast, scalable, and secure blockchain that empowers individuals, developers, and enterprises to increase their data privacy and cybersecurity without sacrificing ease of use. Let's look at some of the key features from Jacko Protocol. So we've got the decentralized architecture, which ensures that data integrity through redundance and automatic healing if the node is compromised. By leveraging blockchain technology, Jacko Protocol guarantees data immutability and verifiability. And as far as programmable privacy is concerned, Jacko Protocol provides an unprecedented level of privacy and control over your data. Let's look at some of the value propositions for Jacko. It offers decentralized storage in contrast to traditional storage solutions such as those from the likes of Google and Amazon Web Services. Jacko Protocol provides a level of data integrity that traditional systems cannot match. Users of the Jacko Protocol can retain control of their files, including access and modifications. In other words, data on the protocol is always self-custodial, meaning no one not even the Jacko team can access or view user data. With Jacko protocol, users enjoy cheap transactions and developers do also benefit from a wide array of tools which enable them to customize decentralized application development and deployment. Now, as part of our review, as we stated earlier, we are going to be looking at the 13 elements and we start with decentralization. The Jacko protocol is an open source and community-driven innovation which fosters a transparent and trustless ecosystem. It provides a decentralized infrastructure for secure and scalable data storage, enabling individuals, developers, and enterprises to protect their data and improve their cybersecurity posture. The platform also offers the building blocks for constructing decentralized applications, managing access control and ownership, transferring encrypted data, and maintaining self-custodial control over data, all without relying on centralized storage providers or intermediaries. Let's move on to security now. The Jacko protocol uses the Cosmos SDK due to the composability of blockchain modules where developers can add and alter their modules to suit their application specific needs. The Jacko protocol operates on a proof of stake consensus mechanism ensuring scalability and stable operation through the staking of the JKL token in order to secure the network. By the way, JKL is the ticker symbol for the Jacko protocol token. Jacko has two main features that rely on encryption techniques to keep user data private and secure. The main models are file encryption and file entry encryption. These results reside in different locations within the protocol. The files themselves are stored on storage provider client machines, which require files to be encrypted before they are transferred to those client machines. The file entries are data structures living directly on chain in file tree blockchain module, again needing to be encrypted on the client's device before being sent to the blockchain. As for the storage solutions themselves, Jacko storage functions by a proof of storage algorithm called proof of persistence. The Jacko proof of persistence or JPOP works through a series of contracts between the storage provider and the user. These contracts contain the Merkle tree root hash for the file and the information required to prove ownership to a file. Now on to interoperability. Jacko protocol is built on Cosmos SDK and using the Inter Blockchain Communication Protocol or IBC. Built on Cosmos SDK and using Inter Blockchain Communication Protocol, Jacko protocol can interact seamlessly with other blockchain networks, providing a high degree of flexibility and 
and interoperability. Jackal's interchain based architecture unlocks use cases and verticals for blockchain technology in every ecosystem. Now onto the project team. The Jackal protocol is maintained by the dedicated Jackal Labs and Jackal Foundation team. Jackal Labs team is about 11 members according to the information we came across on the net. Social media presence via X, formerly Twitter, Jackal boasts just over 18,400 Twitter followers and on Discord just over 5,100 Discord members. Now let's look at some of the use cases for Jackal. Ticker symbol JKL. The JKL token is the utility token that is used to power and secure the Jackal protocol. The JKL token is used to pay for transaction fees on the Jackal protocol. Users will also require the JKL token to access various services on offer, for example, storage space. The JKL token is also used to secure the protocol through delegation to validators who in turn help secure the network. Incentives to network participants are also paid in the JKL tokens. For example, storage providers can earn the JKL tokens as rewards and validators can earn tokens for maintaining network security. The JKL token can be allocated into a liquidity pool to earn additional JKL rewards. And as part of the Jackal protocol's governance process, state JKL tokens grant on-chain governance participation within the Jackal protocol to vote on text, software, spend, and other governance proposals. So let's move on to tokenomics for Jackal protocol. Ticker symbol JKL, token supply 400 million with a hard cap, circulating supply 70.7 million or 17.7%. .7%. Let's look at some of the token distribution. This is slightly messy, but we'll try our best to tie it together and provide some clarity. The development entity is 24.9%. Core employees and contractors, 4.1%. Pre-seeding funding, 1%. Seed funding, 7.5%. Advisors, 2%. Airdrops, 1.67%. Debt liquidity, 0.5%. Launch expenses and incentivized testing, 0.5%. Grants and bounties, 17%. Liquidity pool rewards, 15%. Fundraising remainder, 10%. Community pool, 12.5%, which gives us our 100%. Jaco started with an extremely high inflation in year one based on an initial supply of 100 million. Inflation numbers and distribution is as follows. So mining rewards were allocated 60% and staking rewards 40% of that initial first year inflation. And then the projected inflation from year one up to year 10 starts from 53, which is what we just covered. And then you've got 31%, 21%, 15% in year 4, 11% in year 5, year 6 is 8%, year 7 is 6%, year 8 is 4%, year 9 3%, and year 10 1%. Inside the token allocation, according to our own evaluation of these numbers, comes up to 49.5% at the very minimum. So that is the brief review of what Jackal Protocol is. I'll leave some links for you guys to go and do your own research via the Jackal website and other resources. So let's move on to the scoring part where we actually score the elements we just reviewed as part of our DWA or our risk evaluation for Jacko protocol. And a quick rundown of those 13 elements once more. We've got decentralization, security, scaling, interoperability, the project team, social media present via Twitter and via Discord, age of the project, project use cases, tokens issued, the project launch, total tokens in circulation at the time of recording, maximum tokens available, as well as inside a token allocation. So starting with decentralization, 5 points out of 10, on security, 7 and a half points out of 10, on scaling, seven and a half point out of ten. Interoperability, seven and a half point out of ten. The project team, seven and a half point out of ten. Social media presence via Twitter, it's five point out of ten. And via Discord, two and a half point out of ten. Age of the project, five point out of ten. Project use cases, seven and a half point out of ten. Total tokens issued at project launch, five point out of ten. Tokens in circulation at the time of recording, two and a half point out of ten. Maximum tokens available, five point out of ten. Inside the token allocation, it's way above our threshold of thirty-five percent. Therefore, we are going to give Jacko protocol 0 points out of 10. So those are the scores we've allocated to Jacko protocol. Do you guys agree with those scores? Let us know in the comment section. The aggregate score for Jacko protocol comes up to 67.5 points out of 130, which puts Jacko within the respectable will go to zero category. Mind you, majority of the projects that we've reviewed as part of our DIY or our risk evaluation series do come under this category, which doesn't mean they're terrible projects. It just means they've got some room for growth. That's how you should be looking at this. If a project is reviewed again say in 12 months time and it hasn't improved or it's actually going backwards then we may have some serious problem as for me currently jacko is the project on my watch list and i think with the latest dump i may just move into jacko protocol what about you do you hold the jkl token let me know in the comment section until the next video guys i'm your host fd for signing out for now bye